Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Yesterday I recorded this video about um, diet, weight loss and I missed opportunity to talk about one of the most important and most asked questions. What about losing weight and alcohol? Well, there's no good news here. You know um, the answer, but I try to explain why weight loss and alcohol don't go well together. First of all, uh, let's think about alcohol and alcohol on its own as a toxin and getting processed only in labor. But there are two types of alcohols, uh, which is wine, beer, cider, which is known full strength alcohol and uh, liquors like uh, vodka, brandy, scotch, whiskey. So the biggest difference is uh, one type which is beer, wine, cider. On top of the alcohol content we have um, a lot of carbohydrates in the way of sugar and other carbohydrates. So not only it will be a toxin but also it will spike your insulin and, and when you drink that alcohol most of what you drink will be stored in the form of fat and also will bring you uh, closer to diabetes which is really really bad outcome. I'm not saying that vodka, brandy, whiskey and all the strong liquors are good uh, but they have different um, effect on the body. When they come into our, our bodies they um, getting metabolized in the liver and it's not a good news um, they don't spike your insulin because there's no um, sugars it's all well distilled and, 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 and there's no sugar but liver would stop most of its processes to process the toxin that comes with alcohol that means that it will shut down processes that are almost vital for life to process toxin that we call alcohol and if you drink occasionally and you know you, you got it under control I wouldn't say you know don't stop the fun if it's your way of socializing but if your aim is truly lose weight not dieting not exercising just lose weight by a good lifestyle you will need to give up alcohol only one set of advice I can say that do not give up alcohol. Um, it's what they call cold turkey. Don't just stop drinking if you're drunk almost every night or every second night. Um, it will create a not good shock effect on the body. I would say, you know, stop gradually. Um, let's say if you're drunk every night, I don't believe people would do, but you know, if you did, um, drink every second night, every third night, and maybe once a week, once a month, and then stop completely just to achieve your goals. Uh, and, you know, take care of your diet because alcohol on top of uh, uh, stopping you losing weight also depletes your body from nutrients and minerals, which is another what I call double whammy effect on, uh, on, on, on your journey for weight loss. So sorry, I was supposed to include this information in yesterday's video, I just missed out. So here you are, alcohol has nothing good about uh, you losing weight or actually nothing good about um, lifestyle. Also when people say oh, wine is good for you in small quantities, now um, uh, there's a, the ingredients and components of wine are good but to get those good ingredients you need to drink a lot of it which becomes not good. I don't want to go into compounds but there's nothing good about drinking any alcohol at all. So sorry for bad news but you know truth needs to be heard to make your own you know decisions and conclusions and if health and good weight and happiness um, is what you're after alcohol shouldn't be part of your uh, daily or even weekly routine. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video or any other videos, please subscribe to the channel, like it, and until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.